Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Soji Gray and welcome to another episode of The Device Hub. If this is the first time you're here on the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and hit the bell icon by it so that anytime a new video is released, you'll be updated instantly. I know you're in mid-April and normally I try to release the best Mac apps for the month around the first week in the month, but I mean, a lot of things happened this month, so I'll be bringing it to you mid-month. So my apologies, I pray that, and I hope that next month I'll bring it very, very early. But another thing is that, you know, with Mac apps, you need to do a lot of research to find the good apps amongst the bunch. And for the Mac OS 2, you don't have a lot of apps, so you need to be careful to go through the few ones available and see which one you can actually make a video on. So all these can cause a delay as well. But don't worry, I'll be sharing with you four amazing Mac apps you can actually download onto your Mac device. And I just hope you guys are gonna find this video very helpful and interesting. Without talking so much, let's jump into the video. So the first app I wanna talk about is Stack. So Stack is an internet launch pad for various web apps, but you can have them in unlimited split screen formats with the stack app. So when I open my stack app, you'd see that I have YouTube, uh, Facebook, Gmail, Google Keep, Instagram, and Pinterest opened. I can run all of them as, you know, apps. So for example, with Instagram, I can actually upload, whereas with the, uh, with the web version, it will be very difficult to upload, but I have the, the, you know, I have the option to upload with, the one here and it really looks like the mobile app actually and i can say same for pinterest and the other apps i like that you can actually have your uh your apps arranged in boards so you have like work boards entertainment boards and all that so they're like spaces you can actually have your apps in so i have two categories of apps i think the first one is for youtube facebook and gmail and then the second one as for Instagram, Pinterest, and Google Keep. So I really like this app. If you really wanna stay productive, you wanna be on top of your game, I think this app is the way to go. So you don't have to be jumping back and forth between different apps, you have everything in one place. So the second app is called Side Notes. Side Notes is a note-taking app that lives on a portion of your Mac screen. So meaning it doesn't take up the whole screen. So you can actually open a browser and then have the notes app opened as well so if you do want to make any you know notes whilst you're browsing you want to make a copy and paste you can do so easily across the browser and the note taking app which is side note aside that i like the fact that you can actually drag and drop um you can actually drag and drop pictures or images into a particular note which is also very convenient so as you can see here i've already dragged some uh, images but if i want to drag some more i can easily do so which is also very convenient. As you can see, it just dropped itself. I've been able to do so easily. And this app has a very nice user interface and I really love the design language. The developers sent me a promo code to be able to use the app and have a feel of it. If you do want to get it, it's a paid app and it is um, $19.99. Personally, I think it's overpriced and it's very expensive, but if you're someone who wants to take your note to take it to the next level, I think this is an app you'll consider. The third app I want to talk about is Microsoft To Do. This is a cloud-based task management tool, which is also available on Android, iOS, and on the Windows platform. So if you start something here, you can finish it on another device, on another platform, which is also very convenient. And I really love the user interface. It's so simple. If you want to create a task, you can easily do so. You just um, click add task and you can do so. And you can create different lists as well. I use a lot of times to plan the videos I make and I kind of set timelines to all these video ideas and all that. So it's a very interesting app. I think you should download it and try it out. The fact that you can have it on other platforms is also a big win for them as well. And I feel a lot of people are gonna find it very helpful. So the fourth and last app I wanna talk about is Macy. Macy is a clipboard manager for Mac OS and it lives in your menu bar, which is also very convenient. They have this really nice icon. And once you click it, it gives you a history of all the things you've copied. And this is very convenient. If you wanna copy it from that side and paste it into another place, you can do so easily. All you have to do is just click it and then open where you wanna copy it to and then just Command V 
and it works so easily. Mixi is a free to download app and I'm going to leave links in the description section. So guys, that is that for this month's episode of the best Mac apps of the month i hope you enjoyed this video if you do have any suggestions or if you do want to reach out for me to talk about your app just hit me up i'm going to leave everything down in the description section or if you do have any suggestions let me know as well uh if you're new here make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that anytime a new video is released you'll be updated instantly i'll catch you in the next one peace